Messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Fun House, Pat Sharp. The Fun House is open for business. The bells are ringing and we're ready to go. And as you can see, I always deliver the twins to the Fun House. I'm the hard worker around here. Thanks a lot for joining us. Now I've got my makeup on, but a powdered nose is no guarantee of a clean neck. Not with all the guns we've got in here. The Fun House. Say hello to our twins. It is Melanie and Martina. Hello. I don't know who's who, but I do know our players. They look great. Bring them on. <laughs> Yellows go first, Martina. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who you got? I have Kevin and Claire. They're from County Swear, and they both attend the Friary Secondary School. <laughs> yeah! And for those hot rocking red, Sister Mel. I have Gillian and Graham, and they're from Falkirk, and they attend the Falkirk High School. Yeah! Yeah! So it really is south against north this week, without a doubt. Kevin McGuinness, you're first. What do you want to do when you grow up, Kev? I want to be either an animated artist or a naturalist, Pat. Right, animated artist, so you'll be doing the old cartoons. Yeah, Pat. A lot of hard work? I don't know. Oh, it will be, I tell you, I've seen them. Watch them. Brilliant. Claire. Nice to see you. Now, this is even more interesting. When you grow up, you want to be an airline pilot or a customs officer? Yes, Pat. Right. We'll have to work, work that out, really, which one you'd like to be. I mean, I think the pilot would be more interesting, wouldn't it, I think? Probably. Fly higher, if nothing else. Gillian is uh, on the red team from Falkirk. And uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? This is even more interesting. I can't believe it's getting more interesting as we go along. I want to be the first woman footballer for Falkirk. Well, we wish you luck. You must let us know how you get on. And with you is also a bit of a football star, Graham McQueen, whose nickname is... Tank. Tank. Now, I mean, you're not exactly built like a tank. I mean, you're stronger than me, but who isn't? But why, why is that? Um, my football manager, he started calling me for some reason. You don't know why? No, and then everybody else just calls me now. All right. And you're a bit of a football fan because you want to score the winning goal? Against Celtic for Rangers. All right. <laughs> a few people might beg to differ on that one. Ooh. We'll find out a little bit later. But good luck to all our players today on the Fun House! <laughs> So here come those fun house facts. Three fun-filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. Now, I'll bring you guys back here. I'll ask you a bonus question each time, OK? So you get a chance to catch up if you're falling behind. Those are also worth 25 points. Then we have the fun car Grand Prix. That is absolutely gripping stuff. I got the checkered flag. I'm ready to give 25 points to the winner there. Then the one with the most points gets to go into the fun house, run round there, pick up on the prizes, and perhaps the power prize as well. But for game one, Gillian and Claire, I don't know how to say this, but I want you to kiss me quick. Let's go and do it. <laughs> Here's my little froggy, as you can see. Ready? Ready? Yes. He's just ready to go here because this game is all about the fact that girls always dream of kissing a frog and getting their prints. I know it doesn't often happen, and I don't think it will here today because these frogs have climbed out of the river here and have gone very gungy on the way up there. It'll be your job to grab a rope, and we've got a rope here to show you an example, and find your way up here as quick as you possibly can to the top. Grab a frog and then slide down on your bottom, give him a kiss, see if he turns into a prince. If not, whack him in the bin. The one with the most in the bins at the end will be the winner. I'll take this one with me because he's very upset. You see, he went to the library today and took out 25 books and didn't like any of them because he said, read it, read it, read it, read it. Superb, you were all stars here. I'm sure you, you, you must have got a Prince or two. Remember that song by Prince called Kiss? Now we know why he recorded it. OK, we're going to count up the yellow ones first of all. How many have we got here? I'm treading very cautiously, as I always do in this one. Thank you. And two! 
Thank you very much. Two yellows. Now, we need three or more. We have one and two. Oh, you almost did it. There was one other one on the floor. Bad luck to you. Let's re drug the frog. What a rerun of the fun. 25 points apiece, two frogs each. OK, let's see who can jump ahead for the first time today. It's a boy's question. This is also worth 25 points. As thing as you're very clean, you better do very well here for your respective girl partners. We've played Kiss Me Quick, and a baby frog is a tadpole, a baby hare is a leveret. What is a baby horse called? <coughs> Yellows. Calf. No. <coughs> Foal is right. You're a bit of a cow. 25 points to the red. So it's 25 yellows in the lead with 50. The red team. Right, I've got kind of fun now to make the guys a bit as messy as the girls. So if everybody would like to come and join us for game number two. Now, Mr and Mrs Dracula are well upset, you see, because they went out for the day to get some shopping and they came back and they found that all their blood is being stolen. Their precious supplies of blood, which is in here, is being gunged away by these horrible bats. There's a bat here just hiding in the blood, trying to get it all. Look at it. Ah. So what Mr and Mrs Dracula want to do is get rid of the bats, OK? So it'll be your job, guys, to get in there. I think with your teeth it'll be a lot more fun. Pass it on to Mrs Drac, whose teeth are just gorgeous. Oh, yeah, you've never seen a brace on teeth like that. That's brilliant. <laughs> then it'll be your job to get it into the buckets in 45 seconds. The one with the most bats in the buckets is the winner. So, Batman, no. Batman says, go! <laughs> You sent me absolutely batty there. I hope Nora's watching. OK, we'll count the red ones up first of all and see how many we've got. Chuck we've got them out, Mel. One, two, Ugh. three, four, five, six, and seven! All right! <laughs> now, the only trouble there is, is you threw them back in, so you guys have to play this again in a minute because she's put them back in the blood. We need eight or more for the yellow team. Good luck, guys. Count them up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, You've done it! Congratulations! Let's reflood the blood! Yeah. Gungy indeed, and 25 points to the yellow team! Yeah. So it's level pegging now for North and South. Here's a girl's question to see who's going to go into the lead. In which cartoon version of the Dracula story on television does the vegetarian hero helped by Nanny and Eagle fight Von Goosewing? Reds. Count Dracula. Count Dracula's right. 25 points. Yeah. 50 yellows. 75. Reds in the lead. <laughs> All right. It's our last game now. Just ahead of the Fun Cart Grand Prix, Kevin and Graham are going to do some boxing as you've never seen them do it before. And that is, if you know what I mean. Come and see this. <laughs> Now, the reason I say it's different is not only because they are blindfolded, how do you do? I don't know which hand to shake hands with here. I've got a bit of a problem. Mainly because they've got six different arms. That'll make it a lot easier to get these buttons off here by swinging your body. You can't see exactly where you're swinging it, so wait till I get out of the way. And knocking the buttons off. The one with the most buttons left at the end is obviously the winner, so I wish you luck. Oh, today's key game. So that means there'll also be points for the runners-up. Now, as I do just shake hands with you and wish you luck and wish you all luck and wish you luck and wish you luck and wish you luck and the same to you, I should point out boxing is obviously very worrying for a lot of people, but don't worry at home, this game is quite armless. On we go. I'm going to ring that bell. Go!
over. Everybody has been knocked over, so we'll just sit him up here quietly and we're going to count him up. How many of the yellows got left? We've got three left. All right, well, you've beaten the reds because they've got two left, so you've got the points. Congratulations. Let's reshove the glove. <laughs> Mr McGuinness in the yellow corner wins over Mr McQueen in the red corner, but it was a key game, so two points for two buttons to the red team. Yeah! yeah! 25 points to the yellows! Yeah! All right, here comes the question for the guys, though. That was the best game I've seen in weeks. Love that. Now, if a boxer is knocked down, how many seconds is he allowed to get up again before he's counted out reds? Eight. Eight is wrong. Ten. Ten is right. More points yeah! for the yellow team. The score now. 77 reds, 100, the yellows are in the lead! Yeah. I'm ready to go, my first gear is engaged, it's the Fun Car Grand Prix, coming now! Yes, we are on for it once again, all got your helmets on? All tight, we have spare wheels over there to be changed after the first lap, and there are two laps. The Fun cars have been tuned to perfection by our mechanics, so you can drive them around and grab these. That's what it's all about, the legendary tokens. White's worth 25, green's worth 10, the white's on the top of the sticks, okay? So I suggest they're the ones that you go for. Feeling good? Yeah. Ladies first? Yep. To your fun cart, let's get the Grand Prix underway. You lot get a cheer? Yeah! This should do the trick. Red 77, yellow's 100. You change the wheel after one lap on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> We'll go and award those points. Come on! Yeah! What a great race. I love that one. Yellow team, congratulations. Everybody's here. 25 points to the yellow. Yeah! Well done, the count is rare. Should we count up the... I'll go to the reds first, I think. Give Sister Mel a chance. We'll have the mean greenies. These are worth 10 points each. So, bink at home like this. Thank you. You're a bit late there. You have to do better on this one. You ready? Well done. 40 in total for the greens. Now, here come the whites. These are really quick binks. Bink! Bink! 75, 100. Total score, 2, 1, 7 reds. Good score! Right, Gillian and Graham, that was good. 2, 1, 7. Here come the yellow tens. Oh, they're green, actually, but they belong to you. That's why they're yellow tens. 10. <laughs> 20. I'm not confusing, am I? 30. And the whites. These are worth 25 each. 25, 50, 75, 100. Total score yellows. 255. Five. You've done it. You're going into the final. Well, Paul Kirk, Graham, and Gillian, have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. You were definitely superstars. Your funhouse consolation packs full of goodies. Have a great weekend. And well done to the Reds. They were tremendous. If you two are going in there, and you are today's superstars, I guess you want to know exactly what lies in store for you, right? Yep. yep. The details on those prices coming now, and everybody, please, come and join us! Yeah! Blow your way through the balloons to find your computer game. Then start up the engines to reveal these super skating boots. Tied up in nets is the Funhouse Mystery Tour, and bouncing about in a pot of gold is the basketball set. Wind up at the box of tricks and pick up this trendy watch, or take a tumble for this board game and dictionary. You'll be on cloud nine if you fit this super outdoor jacket, and right on when you pick up this pen and pencil set. You'll find some hidden gold in the snowdrift, and clogging up the cogwheels a collection of cassette tokens. 
Jog across the lava swamp for your funhouse trainers, or climb the volcano to claim your walkie-talkie. Take your time on the lava flow and pick up your clock radio. Brush up your painting in the lava cleaner before settling down in the lava pool for this super soft sleeping bag. Fantastic stuff. Now, Kevin and Claire have really done particularly well to get here. South beats north so far, but it's not all over because you've got to get inside that funhouse. Now, this is one of the examples of the 15 price tags that are hidden somewhere in the funhouse. Don't quite read that one. I need a microscope. Anyway, I might find one a bit later on. There could be one in there. However, we need to know what the power prize is. Tell us, Gary. Here's your chance to catch the waves by taking these lessons on your very own windsurfing boards. He's impressed. He likes to say that windsurfing board. And by the way, one each, okay? You don't have to share it, anything like that. You get one each of all these prizes. We know what it is. Let's see where it is. You didn't see that, did you? No. no. See, we didn't show you. We just showed everybody at home and all our audience here. And, and Martina knows already because she hid it. But we need to know how you're going to find it. And there's only one thing that'll tell you you've got the power prize. It's this. Now, apart from being a very strange noise and making me look very weird, because I have to make that noise before the show and record it, <laughs> that will show you that you've got the power prize. Okay, stop giggling, please. Yellow is always like this when they win. You haven't won quite yet anyway, so what you're going to do is get your feet on the steps. You've got two minutes to go in there, grab three tokens, high five, come out, so on and so forth, till you get all 15. You might not get all 15, I don't think anybody ever has. But if you do hear the special noise, you're halfway to getting the power prize. I'll ask you a question. If you get that right, then you've got it. Your very own self. Fantastic. Right, so you'll be going first. What would you like, Kev? Uh, I'd like a gold chain, and I'd like the uh, clock radio. Yeah? Anything for you? The wax jacket um, and the power price. Oh, the power price. You're not fussed <laughs> with the power price. OK, feet on the steps. This, was, I say, will take everybody into a weekend. You've got two minutes to run round our funhouse. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> But where's he gone to? Now come on, you. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. Well done, Kev. Welcome back. I got stuck in the car wash for a minute. Congratulations. Claire, well done to you as well. You've got many a prize tag. I've got the old microscope still. You can't have that one because that was mine at the beginning. But you can have all of these, and it's one each as well, okay? So let's see what you got. The clock radio. You wanted that, didn't you? Come on, talk to me now. <laughs> yes, yes. Basketball set, one each. The outdoor jacket. Never wear it indoors, but you get one each. Cassette tokens, mystery tour each, and the gold chain each, which is what you wanted. Woo! Give them a cheer. And, and give them a cheer for this, because I heard the power prize noise. Bring it on, Melanie.
So, this is the exciting bit. I'm gonna let you keep your helmets on, okay? So you don't sweat too much, because this is pretty nerve-wracking. If you want the windsurfer each, and that is a great prize, then go for this. You've got 10 seconds in which to think about it, confer, and give me an answer. So please don't shout out your first answer, because it will ruin it if it's wrong. Ready? The name Scandinavia describes a number of northern countries which are often very, very cold. Can you name three countries of Scandinavia? Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. We've got some winners! Team, they're yellow this week. Thanks a lot for making our house a fun house. Hope we did the same for yours. See you soon. Bye bye. Tonight at six here on Challenge, general knowledge questions and the people who make it their business to know the answers. The chase is on as our bank holiday Bradley returns.